through today's video. Um, so basically yesterday I decided to update my crested and gargoyle gecko enclosures because they were really dirty. They needed to be cleaned out, get some fresh substrate, and I wanted to put some fresh plants in and just freshen everything up for them and give them some enrichment. So we're going to jump right into it because this is a pretty long video. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's go. Look at how cute he is. Hey, Chachi. I was gonna show you guys my new plants, which are behind him. Um, it's a nice sunny day in here though, so he likes to sunbathe <laughs> and sploot. Look at that cute little sploot butt. So I got some Repti soil substrate, two bags, and I normally use um, Josh's Frog's bio bedding, but I got these instead. And look at how glorious this is. These are some beautiful new plants to freshen up my gecko enclosures, right Chachi? So we have Dracaena. I don't know if some people pronounce it Dracaena. If I read something in my brain, that is how it's pronounced. Like to this day, I say things wrong because I read it one way and my brain just thinks that's what it is. Like the crystal Labradorite. Apparently everyone calls it Labradorite. It's Labradorite to me, right Chachi? You're so beautiful. Look at him. Um, so yeah, Dracaena. And then this one is Exotic Angel Plant, the White Ann. Um, all of these I just rinsed off. I basically just use water and I rinse them off and I massage the leaves. These came from Home Depot, so you do want to rinse them off really well before putting any plants in your reptile enclosures because they can have like chemicals and pesticides on them and you obviously don't want a gecko going to hydrate itself off of one of these leaves when it has chemicals on it because then they will be ingesting that into their system so it's good to make sure they're nice and clean first. Um, I got both of these are low light. I believe Dracaena is also oh it's it's medium light but that should be okay because as you can see it is a little bit light in here and these two are getting some light. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look. These are a mess. Like there is a reason I am updating these and wanted to freshen them up a little bit because um, this used to be a Dracaena and it lasted for a very, very long time, like a couple of years. And now it has severely died in the worst way possible. I don't know if we're going to even see any geckos. Is that a butt? Yeah, that's like a gecko butt. Um, they sleep during the day. And this one, this plant is a little attacked. I think it's still alive though. So we're going to try and freshen that up. Everything got knocked over, all of the decorations. And then we had a dead plant over there. Why is nothing focusing? There we go. So yeah, everything is a mess. Part of the wall came off in the back and it's just sitting there. <laughs> like everything needs to be updated and it's perfect because the other gecko is hiding in there. So I can just like do everything I need to do and they will not be totally disturbed. Oh my God, Baloo. Oh my God, and Willie. You guys are like being frantic. Oh my goodness. Do you want to come out? I kind of have things to do, so make your decision. Oh my goodness. Will I ever get anything done? You already came out today once too. He's going to be upset now because he hates when he sees this dog out. Stresses him out. All right, Baloo, we're going to have to put you back. I have things to do today. Guys, I am not going to get anything done these guys are ridiculous. They just always want to be out. It's because it's sunny out. They all need to get some sunshine. So here's Willie. These guys just always got to be the stars of every single video. You have to go back. I have things to do. There we go. Man, both of these guys. They just love coming out. I need to clean these windows too. Like there's so much drippage everywhere. So the first thing I'm going to do is 
basically clean a lot of this out like the dead plant and take out a lot of the substrate these used to be bioactive but i'm pretty sure that there isn't any more microfauna in here so that's sad i'm gonna have to get some more i don't have any for today's video but i mean all you have to do is just toss it in there so yeah i'm just gonna start cleaning this out so i scooped out a lot of the leaf litter in here because i want to reuse it and um i'm also gonna reuse these moss pads because might as well it's weird because when you first put them in an enclosure they're green and then because of like spraying them over time i don't know if it's um whatever's in the water but they turn yellow orangish like this kind of brown over time i've noticed it with all of these i mean it's not preferred i like it better green but like you can still use it oh look an egg both of these uh, geckos are females, so I'm sure I'm going to find some eggs laying around. They're all going to be infertile because I'm not breeding them. And they do naturally lay eggs, so bound to find some. So we have all the leaf litter, and then I put all of the moss in this bag. I did not realize how much moss I had in there. There was a lot. So now I'm going to start taking out the dead plants. We have this one, and I think this one used to be a fern. <laughs> how sad. Um... So yeah, and then I'm gonna take off like a top layer of all of this. There's like dead crickets and there's poop. So yeah, I'm gonna take a good layer of the substrate and everything just out of here completely before I put in fresh substrate. This fake plant looks like it's coming out a bit. That looks better. Um, there was a live plant that used to be in here that has also died. It's really sad because I, every time I've tried making a little cup holder in the naturalistic background, those plants always die. I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's because they aren't draining properly. I'm pretty sure I did leave holes at the bottom. I just don't know. I just haven't had much luck with that department. I'm pretty sure it's happened with like all of my chameleon enclosures too. Like Willie's enclosure over here. That's another one. See, there's like no plant, no plant. They all die whenever I try to do that. So it's unfortunate, right Willie? Very unfortunate. The decor in this one isn't too messed up. I kind of like how everything is, so all I have to do is put in some substrate, make it a thicker layer, especially for putting in new plants. Um, so we're going to go ahead, cut one of these open, and dump it in. And I don't really have a specific measurement. All of the substrate shields allow up to six inches. I'm not doing that much. That would be a little much. Maybe about like three inches. So I just put in a mound of it. I'm gonna spread this around, mix it all in with like the older substrate too, which is the Josh's Frog's bio bedding. Did I just, here's an egg, you're still popping up. So this will be a good way to go through. There's another egg. Where did it go? Here it is. People actually keep these. I find that a little, I don't think I would want them. <laughs> I throw them out, um, but yeah. We're coming across some eggs. It's kind of hard to see because the lighting is so bright, but we have a good layer in there now. Everything is mixed up and there's some leaf litter. Um, there's some like little bits of charcoal from the Josh's Frog's bio bedding that I like. And then there's like little flakes of moss. So there's a lot of good things in there and it's good for microfauna too. So we'll get some eventually, just don't have any today. So then I think I'm gonna put the leaf litter back. You know what, we'll do that last. We will do that last. Let's put some plants in, right Chechi? Put some plants in, yeah. So I think I'll put two plants in this one. Um, it said that the Dracaena needed um, medium light. So as you can see, there's some light coming in more on this side. So I think I'll put this one in the light over here. 
All right, so I tried to root this one. I didn't want to take all of the dirt out because I want to, hopefully that'll help it stay alive. Um, but you do want to make sure like the little fertilizer things are not completely visible, but I can also cover all of that with dirt because your reptile should not be eating that ever. So now we're going to go ahead and just plant it in here. I feel like that's an okay spot. And just bury it with all the dirt. And then pat it down so it stays into place. The geckos are pretty good with live plants. They don't seem to knock them out so much. But if you have like a heavy bodied like snake or a blue tongue skink or something, they might trample it. But usually enclosures with arboreal geckos go pretty well with using live plants. So I think I'm going to put the other one up front too. Um, I feel like it'll just look good and that one is a little bit shaded so that's going to be the area that we'll put the low light plant in. Which one? Choices, choices. Might as well just go with this one. So now I gotta root this one. Alright, this one is looking pretty good. And then find a little nice pocket for this one. I really hope that these last. I mean the last one, it lasted for at least a year. It was there for a long time. So hopefully these ones will be okay. All right, so that looks good. That looks fresher than what it was, that's for sure. Um, now I can go ahead and put some of these moss patches back in. I don't even know if I wanna use all of these. This one is huge. Oh my goodness. Put this one in this corner. Put this one in the middle right here. I feel like that's good. And now I have the cup of leaf litter, so I'm gonna just toss it around. A lot of it was mixed into the substrate too might save some because I don't know if I have a lot in citruses enclosure man it is hot in here with the sun mix it around all right so I feel like that's freshened up looks way better than what it looked like before so I'll take it it's progress I just cleaned the front glass too so that looks so nice compared to this dirty messed up enclosure so it's gonna feel so satisfying to just have these spruced up because seeing dead plants everywhere and then everything is just a mess is it's sad we don't like to see that the first thing i'm gonna do is take out all of the decorations that have just been knocked over completely i don't know what citrus did because normally citrus does not move the stuff all over but I don't know what was going on citrus had a wild night I did see she was laying eggs I don't know if that had something to do with it but man this is a mess so I don't know if we can still I mean this plant still looks alive we can still use it we'll make it work but there's like a lot of dead pieces that I need to pick out and the substrate like a whole layer needs to come off of this and then the random parts of the wall I guess that's cork bark. Maybe that's why I didn't throw it out because I was like, well, you could still use the cork bark. I'm going to try and peel the spray foam off of it and then we can try and make do. All right, so I just took off a whole top layer of dirt and dead plants and eggs that were found in here. So now I'm going to dump in some more fresh substrate, mix all of this up with the old substrate and do the same exact thing.
the one look without the reflections. They look way better. They're way more fresh. Got some live plants again. So the gargoyle should be very happy. So I severely have to do Chip's enclosure because Chip is the one that poops everywhere. Everything is a mess. However, in order to redo the substrate, I'm gonna have to take this whole enclosure down and I cannot do that by myself. So I'm gonna have to have my boyfriend help me with that, but he's at work. So the last one that we can do today would be Oakley's enclosure since it's actually accessible. I'm not sure where she is. She normally is sleeping in that cork bark. So her floor is disgusting as well. There's poop. So we have some spot cleaning to do. There's like shed stuck in the fake plants. So yeah, and she doesn't have any live plants. She has this fake plant that I don't really like. I may just take that out completely, put in some live plants. This does actually get some light as well. It like comes through from there. So I think, I don't know if the Dracaena would make it. I don't know, we can try it. We're gonna give her some live plants cause she has tons of fake plants, but she needs some live enrichment as well. Do you guys see that dust floating up? Oh my God, it's dusty in here. So I took out a ton of moss and some more leaf litter that I would like to reuse. We took off a big chunk of layer of old substrate. This is just so dry. So it's gonna be really nice to add that fresh moist substrate to this. Um, yeah, that'll definitely be helpful for humidity and get rid of all of this dust. All right, so we have a lot of fresh substrate in there. It's really cool because I don't know what kind of moss, I guess I would have to rewatch the video I did where I set up Oakley's enclosure because this moss stayed green. This is the one that turns from the water. And I just, I don't know, I like this. I think it looks way better. So I wanted to reuse it because it actually stays green. So I'm just gonna add this stuff around the enclosure again and then put in some plants, reuse some moss. This stuff just looks so nice. I didn't even realize it was in here until I'm taking everything out. Yeah, I think we should put some plants in now. Which plant do we use, Chach? There is some sun that comes in here, so I don't know if I should go with the medium light Dracaena. I feel like I should. I feel like we should go for it, but I have to root it. I like it. I think it looks good. Right, Chachi? He's like, what is all over you? Lots of dirt. And then we have all of these, all this leaf litter I could toss back in. I may not even use all of it. Save some for Chip. I don't know if I'm gonna have Chip in this video at all because I don't know when I'm gonna have help getting that enclosure down. And I just ran out of dirt, so I have to buy more dirt. So this video may just be Oakley, Citrus, and Sunny. And I'm gonna have to do Chip's enclosure another day. Look at this mess. So yeah, I have to clean the door, make sure everything looks nice and fresh, get any dead crickets. Oh, this one actually doesn't have dead crickets. Oh wait, there is. There's always a dead cricket, always. Um, I wish the geckos would be out, so hopefully I'll get some footage of them at nighttime so you can see them in their enclosure. But like during the day, this is why I can't even handle them anymore. They are asleep and they are completely hidden away. And I don't want to take that away from them because they really like it. They feel safe and secure. So I don't want them to lose that for me to just handle them again. So I let them live their best lives <laughs> and I don't really handle them that much, but that's okay as long as they're happy. All right, Chachi? So yeah, now time to clean all of this. That looks so much better. And look at this cool rainbow coming in right now. That looks awesome. Just gonna clean the front of this.
So Chip's enclosure is to be continued. At least cleaned the poop off of everything because it was awful. He's always pooping on everything. He definitely needs plants in here because it's like very empty. If you want to see him, that is his butt. Uh, all of them are just in the cork bark all day long. So I'm out of dirt, so I can't even put his plants in, but I'm gonna have to clean his substrate anyway and get rid of most of it. So this will be done another day. And there's Chip's butt for your enjoyment. At least there's a sticker that looks like him. It's close enough. No freaking way, guys. Oakley woke up and came out. She's checking things out because of her new plant and substrate. So this is why enrichment can be so amazing and just adding new things here and there because they absolutely will appreciate it. Like, I love seeing that. What a little cutie. Check things out. <laughs> so cute. You guys look at how Precious. Oh my god. Oakley just has my absolute heart. <laughs> I did not know I could love a little gecko this much, but oh my god, she is just perfect. She just woke up, she knew that there were new smells, and she decided to come out and check everything out. <laughs> Look at her little hand and her cute face. Yeah. She deserved an updated little clean and enrichment for sure. God, I love this gecko. Oakley, you are just precious. The most precious thing to exist. 